Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to fix the error on stable diffusion which is the stable diffusion model failed to load exiting. Now this can be caused by a few issues. So let's say that your the batch file that you're supposed to launch your stable diffusion with is the web UI dot path one. Uh, you might not be running this as administrator. So before launching this, just right click and run as administrator to see if that works. And the program could also be consuming more memory than allocated. There could be an issue with your network connection too. So ensure that you have some good Wi-Fi connection before you try to generate anything. And another issue could be that your graphic drivers aren't up to date. Now, in order to check if your graphic drivers are up to date or not, you're going to go over to your NVIDIA GeForce Experience app. Now, this will only work for NVIDIA GPUs, but if you're trying to run this in the first place, you do need a NVIDIA graphic card. So what you're going to do is right click, go over to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You're going to go over to your drivers tab and check if your drivers are up to date or not. As you can see, I have a graphic driver. So what you're going to do is just hit express installation and it's going to download for you. After that, you can actually modify the runtime type in stable diffusion and change it from your GPU to, GPU to CPU. Or if it's set on your CPU to generate images, you can change it to your GPU. You can increase your virtual memory for stable diffusion, but for this you need like a good NVIDIA graphic card, so something with 6 GB of free RAM or higher. You can delete your Hugging Face folder from its cache, so just go over to this path. If you need to find it, you can just copy this path, go into your file explorer, and then paste it here. And it should be there, you can just delete your cache file from there. And you can also uh, modify the batch file in st stable diffusion. So right click on the web UI user.path file. Open with notepad. And then you're going to paste in this command. That should fix it. So what you're going to do is save it and relaunch stable diffusion. If the error still exists, then you're going to replace the following command with this one instead. So set command. So you're going to copy and paste this one instead of the command that you just uh, pasted. Otherwise, if you're still having the same issue, there might be something wrong with your actual stable diffusion files and you can just reinstall everything to make sure that no file is corrupted. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.